I am here yet again as your humble servant, and I'm here today to do part three of the Q4 niches. So if you haven't watched, if you've missed the part one and two, go back to my channel and you see part one and two of the Q4 niches. This is like, like in a series to take you through some of the niches that you can publish in to make some impact. It's painful to hear people say, oh, I don't have sales during Q4, but Q4, even if you don't market, you still make sales. So let's go straight to the niches. And if you are new to KDP Publishing, here we talk about low content and no content books. Very soon I'll be talking about content books because I've made money from content books. People complain, but I still make money from ebooks, from like now you can do paperbacks and even hard covers using different channels. So I'll teach, do a video about that. If you say yes, just say yes, I should do, and I'll do, and how you can do. Uh, like publish books in those niches. But today, what are we talking about? We are talking about Q4, part three of the niches. So let's go to some of the first niche, which is salon appointment niche, uh, appointment. So if you see this, this is like in a business category, you don't only make sales on Q4, but it extends through the whole year. But the beauty of this is that during Q4, people go for salon, a lot of people go for salon, so, and uh, just to make their hair because it's Christmas, it's holidays. So you need to have like this a book in this category so that pe businesses can buy and they can keep on rebuying, rebuying, rebuying. And uh, let's go to books category and you see how this thing plays out. You see how this thing plays out. So because once people buy, it's a business, they keep on buying, they keep on buying. And you can see. These are some of the books uh, in this niche. And you can equally just take advantage of this and make more money, uh, make more sales rather. And uh, hopefully money will come in when you look at this. So let's look at this. And uh, let's look at the sales trend. So, okay, right. So there's it's all time. So you see that this book, it's up and down, up and down, up and down. But when you look at areas like this, like you can see this is like uh, during Christmas, you can see the shooting up and you can see, but in all you see that it's up and down, up and down, up and down. The sales been up and down because it's a business niche and uh, you need to have books like this so that you can sell through the whole year. People don't tell you this because they just do researches and say, okay, Q4, Christmas coloring book, whatever coloring book, uh, Halloween coloring book, and that's it. But then these niches will give you the leverage to sell more, to do more, and to sell through the whole year. Even though Q4 is going to increase because people are looking for this book. So let's go straight to the next book. And uh, it's a book that people want to transition because Christmas... You reevaluate re your year and see, like year four, is it going on well? And we are getting to the new year, and uh, hopefully January will also come and be part of Q4 because holidays are there. So Career Planner is also another book that you look at. And uh, let's look at Career Planner. You can see Career Planner, Career Planner Workbook, because people want to plan their careers. People want to move through the next chapter. People want to do, like, different things in terms of, like, getting into their career planner. So you can do a career planner notebook and uh, career planner notebook or journal for people to look at. So you can see these are like simple books that are in that niche. Career plan. And once you look at these books, you can equally make some gains from that. People who want to transition and they are looking for things that to, to hold on to. So at the end, I will show you how I do my keyword researches. And uh, the second, the third niche in this category today is Christmas shopping notebook. So if you, let's search from that. So you see that people are not doing much of this type of books. And that's why I'm bringing them to your attention so that you can publish. If you are doing marketing, good. You can see Christmas gift tracker. Christmas shopping gift list. So, like, it's just a list of books that people will buy and put whatever it is. So, let's look inside this one. One of them. Christmas shopping. And uh, 
it's been published in 2022 but let's look inside people because think about it people want to put in gift list whether they are receiving gifts or they are giving gifts so in any way they buy these books because christmas is like the period we have gifts they can buy gifts for you can see this is just the, the book gift cost cost of gift do so they want to buy for in this case they want to buy for people so it could be an organization buying gifts for its staff its uh, customers and they want to take records so you can see why it's important to look at something like this it's very important so you can equally do the book go to creative fabrica you may get a uh, interior or just this here is simple to design with powerpoint or even uh, canva and do a simple uh, what is it just do a simple cover on canva and you are good to go so let's go to the next uh, book niche that i'm going to talk about today and it's in the meal planning holiday meal planning so you can see that mostly the books i'm bringing out people are not publishing much here and the books like we just see some few so that simply means you should take advantage of that meal plan a 52 week planner holiday meal planning so you can do a book that targets this for the holidays so because christmas you know cooking food gifts so people need to plan their meals and you can do meal planners for them to take advantage of that believe you me kdp is not only about things that exist it's about things you project that people will need to buy and once you do you solve that problem you will be able to what make income so there are a lot of books in different categories and people are doing they will show you uh, sales ranks and they will show you whatever but i'm telling you this all of them sometimes is bogus you need to take your own intro, like do your own researches you need to do your own testing you need to publish in different niches that's what has helped me I'm telling you, I publishing. I started publishing. I was watching videos. People were showing me their income reports, and uh, I wasn't making money, even though I had close to thousand books at that time on KDP published. I wasn't making money, but I started asking myself questions like, "What can I do? What are the niches that people are not publishing in?" Then I started doing my own researches, publishing like uh, niches that I don't even think they exist. I'll just create a book and publish create my own niche and publish and i started making sales and that's how i started making sales started making sales so let's go to the last uh, uh but not a list niche that you can target during this period which is the mom's gifts mom gifts so you know like this niche is a great niche for people to buy gifts for their mothers and because christmas uh, q4 is all about gifts it's all about gifts so you can do uh, mom gifts in a type of like it could be a notebook like this one and uh, you put in bible promises for moms uh, just like putting some inspirational something about it and uh, you are good to go because it's gifts and people children would like to buy gifts for their moms their fathers uh, but in one way, they buy more for their moms, so target their moms. Then the next chapter, I'll talk about maybe uh, gifts, for, uh, gifts for dads, gifts for whatever. So these books that you are looking at, they can be good for Q4, and they can be good during mo uh, Mother's Day. So you see that you make, like, it rises two times. Mother's Day, you are going to make sales, and Q4, you are also equally going to make sales. So these are the niches I have for you today for Q4 part 3. And uh, the other thing is that learn to do your own uh, covers. Use Canva like this. But then use Sona to do your keyword research. Sona keyword. And once you go there, just type in Sona keyword. You see something like this. And you put in whatever you want to put. Maybe if I put notebook and I type in. I click on notebook. I'm going to see a lot of researches by people who are looking for notebooks. The internet is a little bit slow. Okay, so let me go back and search notebook. 
okay so now i think we are going we are getting there so it gives you like a lot of searches that people have done and once you come here you are going to see rule notebook frequent words just pick these words and they can become your uh, keywords just pick this word that's the secret just pick this words and they can become your keywords you can see rule spiral no spiral notebook college rule why rule composition notebook and i uh, just like samsung notebook it will not maybe it may not apply because like talking about phones and you can try samsung and see and you can see these are all what people are searching for so you can use that or use the kdp amz suggestion expander to be able to do this you can see it it opens up in your normal amazon search it may not open up like this but use this tool just download it and put it on your chrome browser and you are good to go so thank you very much uh, let's do another part this part three i'm going to do part four and i'm going to keep doing it thank you very much my name is brian mustafa and you are my friend and i believe in you subscribe if there's a need send like or send a message hi and i'm good to go